Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a comparison between the iRobot Roomba i5 and the Roomba 694. We've got a big mess in here. We're gonna see how they clean them up. When it's done cleaning up, I have to empty out the, base, the waste bins myself. Now both of them utilize the bumper technology. They're gonna run into something to turn around and go the other way. Now I got the i5 going in a spot. It's gonna do a circle and keep getting bigger. Now both of them do a really good job with these virtual walls. This points a laser out that'll keep them in a certain room, keep them from going too far away. They both sound about the same. And here comes the 694. Now the i5 will create a map of your house, whereas the 694 does not create a map of your house. And both of them you can use with the iRobot app. And the i5, you'll see that in the um, map. Now they both have the same docking station. They're gonna come back and dock when they need to be recharged, and then that way they're ready to go. Again, you're gonna have to take this container out and empty it out. Wow, they did a good job. Now with the i5, it has a mopping attachment. So this is a whole different dustbin. You're gonna put your water right in here. There's a mop pad on the bottom. And there's where, when it vacuums, everything's gonna go right into here. The, again, you'll have to empty this out manually when it's done. There is a filter once in a while you have to change. And you just simply just slide it in like you do the other dustbin. Here's the 694. Again, you're gonna press this button. I have to manually empty all that out. Yeah, you can see they both do a really good job of picking everything up. That filter, I do have to blow that filter off once in a while. So here's the bottom of the i5. It's got the two brush rollers. I've got the mopping pad attachment on right now. Single side brush, single side brush, drive wheels. This has two brush rollers. Okay, so with either one of these, these virtual walls are an absolute must. Now, they're extra. They're about $25. Uh, you can get some generic ones, but they will go in a line or in a circle. That laser will shoot up at the top, like to stay around away from a dog bowl. Um, now, the mopping, it works okay. Oops, I forgot to dump this one out. But um, I think the $6.94 for its price does a really good job because... If you, I would put the virtual walls up that way. You're not having it go into all kinds of different rooms. Now the i5 can map your house and go into different rooms, but it does kind of struggle with doing that. And as far as the mopping attachment, again, the robot would have to be completely on linoleum the whole time. If it, it doesn't know to like stay away from carpet, you can't tell it to stay away from carpet. So if it's got the mop pad on, it's gonna go right on the carpet and drag it. It doesn't lift it up or anything. So if you only had this in a room with linoleum or hardwood floors, that's where the mopping attachment would be okay. Price-wise, this one's about 150. This one's about 250. Now they sell an i5 with a self-empty base. Now it looks like a J5. The J5 is actually a really good vacuum cleaner that does an excellent job of mopping your house. I've got it over here, right there. That's the J7 with the mopping attachment, but the one next to it is the J5. Now this one's about 350 with the self-empty base. Um, that's like $100 more just to have that. I think as far as mapping, it does the exact same job. These with this sensor up here, I just consider these, these need to be like in small rooms. These are not necessarily meant for whole house cleaning. They're just gonna kind of struggle. They're gonna get caught on cords. They can't do really good obstacle avoidance. They have to hit into something in order to um, kind of move into the different direction. Like you can't put no-go zones with these. That's basically what these virtual walls. Now these virtual walls are nice. If you keep these in like between one or two rooms, and if you got a couple trouble areas, get the couple virtual walls, keep it in these couple rooms, they actually do a pretty good job. Now, if you have a pet mess, if a pet, if a pet poops on the floor, it's gonna completely run it over and make a huge mess. They sell more expensive ones that can avoid it. Like the i5 and the J7 and the J9 has a camera on the front. It can avoid a pet mess and a cord that's on the court, on the ground. These cannot. So I did buy both of these with my own money. I will put a link to it in the show description notes. I am an affiliate with Amazon. If you click on the link, the product doesn't cost you anymore, but I do get a small commission from the sale. 
it is a way of supporting my channel. So I do all kinds of comparisons. I've got all the Tenecos here. I've got the, a lot of the Roombas that I do comparisons on. There's a big difference between a lot of these. Shark, Kenmore just released one of these. Here's the um, Roborock J7 Plus. Got the Eufy over here. Just finished up with the Shark Detect Pro. Yeah, here's the other robots that have the sensor on the front. These things do a really good job of mapping your house and obstacle avoidance. This is the J7. It's an older one, but it's a good one. So these are the robots that I like for mopping. I got the, the Roborock S8 Ultra, Roborock Q Revo, Dream L10S. They have a base station that cleans the mop pads, dirty water tank, clean water tank. They dry the mop pads, but there there are these are usually the Q Revo is about eight hundred dollars. Uh, the other ones are usually over a thousand. So, but I've got videos on how to do the maintenance, set them up, unboxing. I compare them. Which one's the best? I have a great a scoring system that I use. Look for my logo, Just a Dad, on Facebook and Instagram. I do free giveaways over there. If you could, hit a follow button. That really helps me out. Hit a subscribe button if you want to see more robot vacuums. And thanks for watching.